Hello, my name is Professor Oliva, and today I'm going to show you some basic commands in AutoCAD architecture. You can go to uh, Autodesk Architecture, Autodesk.com, and you can see the multiple products, services, and suites that they offer. Basically, there are certain relationships that are very important. Uh, the way they connect to each other, the circle, the line, and the square. And the way these geometries connect to each other can bring a lot of order into space or any type of design. So the first one we're going to be utilizing uh, is a circle and the relationship of one circle to another circle will be based on a command called object snap. When you turn on the object snap, then you're making your cursor smarter by helping it identify the end point, the midpoint, the center, and so on. And you can also turn this on by going into the settings. And by clicking on each of these, you're telling the cursor that you want to find out when you're touching the midpoint of a line, as you will see in a minute. So here, we want to make sure here is turn on and here is turn off turn on and you're going to go and create the other circle and notice how immediately it's going to tell me that that's the center that's the tangent and then i'm going to find these geometries that are called geometries of design uh sacred geometries and so on and this geometry has been used in architecture for many years so here we're going to actually drag it and you're going to see how automatically it's going to show us where the center is then following the same procedure we're going to draw a third circle and then a fourth circle and then by connecting these circles with each other in a specific way we can find out many other discoveries like the equilateral triangle and again the reason you can find these relationships very quick is because you have a smart cursor down here at the bottom this is called your status bar and your object snap allows you to have um, an information as you're moving around the space another geometry this is called the golden mean and the golden rectangle is when you have a square here and the reason we can see that you're drawing a square is because that green line that intersects one end with the other one is also called an object snap but it's actually called polar snap because it's giving you 45 degree relationship of any square so there you know you're drawing a square then you utilize the line as part of your draw command and you're going to draw one end here now notice how this is um, not on, that's why my cursor is not finding the end of the square. So you got to make sure you turn it on again. So now when, see, now it's telling you, hey, you happen to be at the end point of the square. And you happen to be at the other end point. I want to draw another line so I can find the center of my square. And the reason I want to do that is because I also want to find the midpoint of my square. So I'm going to escape, press escape. Uh, button and I'm gonna say I want to find the circle a relationship of a circle to a square that's why it's also called squaring the circle and I'm going to select the center of my circle in the midpoint of the bottom line of the square and the radius the the top right corner of my square right and you're gonna say well what does this do well this creates a relationship a proportion that is very unique because then when you extend the bottom line of your square horizontally, then you extend vertically, and then you extend it back into the square, you create what is called the golden ratio or the golden mean, which is a geometry found in nature and the universe. Then here, if you actually want to um, move we want to delete that one so it doesn't interfere. So these are two geometries that are very good for us to use in anything we design. So for example here, uh, this is a book called Geometry of Design. 
Uh, that's the name of the book, and you can see how uh, this geometry was used for designing the beetle, the BW beetle. Another one is this book called The Power of Limits, and here you can see the proportions of butterflies, the human body, fish, and so on. Another very interesting book here is called Precedence of Architecture. Any good piece of architecture has a geometry that generates order. Uh, this book can also be found free on ebooks, and you can see how uh, geometry organizes the space. Most of architects do it subconsciously, but any good piece of architecture, you will see a very organized system. If you want to know more about it, you have here um, Doodling Math Spirals by um, uh, open educational resource and here she will tell you more about it uh, but it's actually not working here it's called doodling math and you can see more about it there's also an um, also been used in sacred geometry in, with metaphysics multiple disciplines multiple religions have used these relationships and even in alphabets and so on so kind of going back to our AutoCAD uh, Another thing that you could do is you can insert from uh, any image. You can Google uh, geometry architecture, and you can see how many pieces of architecture utilize these principles to organize the facade, to organize space. And very simply, you can right-click copy and bring this image into AutoCAD by using your clipboard and pasting it. And basically, this is your image that you have saved on your uh, clipboard. You paste it, you enter a 90 degree, and then you enter. And then you can actually continue exploring these proportions and these relationships. Another thing that you can do um, is that, uh, let me erase here right now this image and this golden mean, and actually, help you here how to modify this by utilizing what is called the polar array. So with your polar array, you can use a circular multiplication where you will select all these pieces, right click, and then find the center here. Notice here, this is called your command line, it tells you specify the center of array. An array basically means multiplying. And here you can see its multiplication. So practice, bring multiple geometries. It was called sacred geometry because a few years ago in the medieval ages, only the priests could access this knowledge. But you can see how powerful it is and even more powerful when you can use your status bar with your object snap command and you can not multiply and explore these geometries when you design and also how you can find it in nature. Thank you.